The if functions in Excel, including SUMIF and COUNTIF, are extremely useful in that they will perform a certain um, action depending on the results of a cell. However, there is a risk to the way Excel does this. So for example, what you've got here is some part names and how many units were purchased. And here is a bit of a summary where it will tell you that part name AAA, three were purchased. How it does that? Is it goes to the section, it looks for all the AAAs, and then it adds up how many units were purchased. What is important to realize is that as far as Excel is concerned, when it looks for the AAA, it's looking for exactly AAA. And therefore, if there's any misspelling, there could be a, a problem. Of more concern, however, is the way Excel handles spaces. So for example, here, you can see that this correctly adds up to the total units purchased and I've built a little error check in there. Let's say for whatever reason someone goes into this AAA and adds something that cannot be um, visibly seen. For example, just add a space. The net result is as far as Excel is concerned, this AAA space is no longer the same as this AAA and therefore it does not add it in. And this can cause major problems in a spreadsheet. The way to avoid this is first and foremost you must build in some error checks and I highly recommend with any if functions, countifs and sumifs to basically put all the possibilities down and add them up and make sure that it equals the, the, the raw data. The other alternate is to enforce that no errors can happen at, the in, at this stage, the, the name stage. And this can be done using data validation. It's extremely important that you understand this because if for whatever reason you had not included these sections here and been able to check it, the only other way to pick up that the Excel was not adding up the correct um, cells would be to manually do it. And the whole point of Excel is to avoid manual calculations. So it is very, very important to build error checks into your spreadsheets.